Welcome to the first video in the series I'm going to be making about all my program projects. Uh, this one is about 2019, so I'll go through all the projects I did that year and showcase them. Um, right now it's the end of 2021, so I'll have to do three videos in a row. But after that, it's going to be like a yearly thing where I go back uh, and showcase all the projects I did. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy. This is the first project I ever put on my GitHub. Uh, at the time I was 16 and I had made a few projects before this, but nothing too serious. Um, it's this kind of silly game where you adjust this cannon uh, and can shoot these bouncy, colorful uh, cannonballs around uh, the screen. And um, yeah, there's not, not much to it. It was very fun to make. Uh, I wrote it in Java, which was the first project I ever wrote in Java actually. This project is a desktop tool to watermark pictures. So basically, if you have a picture and you want to put like a watermark on top of it, so another uh, image is transparent, uh, this was like a utility for doing that. Um, I didn't actually need this at all. It was just the first idea that popped into my head when I thought of like a UI thing to make. Um, it's also made with Java and Swing uh, for the UI. For this program, I wanted to write something in Python. Um, so I made this rectangle sorter program. Uh, basically, I wanted to create something very visually satisfying to look at. Uh, so it would take all these rectangles in different sizes and then sort them and uh, they would all have a different color uh, that would end up being like a gradient. Uh, so yeah, it would look very nice. Uh, I didn't consider any particular sorting algorithm. Uh, the program just kind of automatically knows when a rectangle is the right height to move uh, to the end uh, or like the beginning of the line. Um, but yeah, it looks very nice to look at. For this project, I want to learn about networking. Um, so I created this remote command executor utility, which uh, there would basically be a client and a server and they would be connected through WebSockets and the client would send CLI commands to the server, which would then execute them and send back the output. Um, so basically like SSH, except at the time I didn't even know what SSH was. So I just kind of created my own version of it. Uh, mine also uh, supported sending files and receiving files. So you could uh, potentially send like a script to the server and then execute it and get the result back uh, on the client. This is another Python program. Uh, it's this lyric downloader, which lets you download and manage song lyrics in your terminal. Um, so it's this uh, CLI that uh, you use to kind of fetch song lyrics and then have them displayed. Uh, it uses a SQLite database to store the song lyrics on your machine. Uh, it's actually the first project I ever made that used the database, uh, which was also kind of the point of making it was to learn about databases. Uh, that's also why I didn't want to bother with like a, a UI or something. This was the first website I ever made. Uh, it's this Pi guide. So basically it's a guide for the Raspberry Pi, or I guess like a, an overview of the Raspberry Pi. So it would show you different models and prices. And uh, But yeah, it's the first website I ever made. So I taught myself HTML, CSS. Uh, I first designed it in Figma and then I like made the actual website. Uh, and I really like tried to make it responsive. So uh, if you're on a mobile, you could uh, view it uh, and it would still look good. This is another website and it's the very first thing I ever made that used JavaScript. Uh, it's this project called Random Recipes. Uh, and basically the idea is that you can kind of browse through a bunch of different recipes for stuff if, if you want to get like inspired uh, about what to cook. 
Um, so yeah, it had like different features for saving the recipes in like a text file or saving them in the website in local storage. So you could afterwards go in and look on look in like a list of all the recipes you have saved. This is one of the coolest projects I did in 2019. Uh, it's this planet generator where you specify a name and from the name it will generate like planet information. Uh, so it will even draw the planet uh, and will tell you different things about it, like if it's inhabited, uh, how big the planet is, how long the days are. Um, so yeah, it will use the name as like a seed to procedurally generate the stuff. Um, so it's not, nothing is random. So if you type in the same name, it will always generate the same planet. This project is the first version of my personal website, which I use to try and get an entry-level programming job. Uh, it's this Python Django website, um, which was hosted on a Raspberry Pi, uh, which I had at home. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just a simple website displaying different things about me. Uh, it has a list of all my programming projects uh, and a way to contact me. Um, yeah, I remember uh, having a bit of trouble with using Django since it's a quite a heavy framework and uh, I probably wasn't at a skill level uh, good enough to to know how to use that very well uh, but I eventually did get it live and uh, I actually used it and successfully uh, got a job with it so yeah this is my absolute favorite project I did that year uh, it's this evolution type game or simulation where you have these little circles or blobs which all compete for food uh, and they all have like different traits um, and if they get enough food they get to duplicate and pass on their traits with a few mutations uh, so it was, it was really interesting to see like different kind of species form uh, and yet they all they all have a, a color depending on uh, their traits there's like three traits and it's just the rgb values This project is a screen recording utility uh, and what makes it different from other screen recording utilities is that it only records when you're actively using your mouse or keyboard. Um, so the idea came from, uh, I was trying to make these kind of coding time lapses, but I only wanted to, it to record when I was actually coding so I could get these really uh, action packed uh, time lapses. I didn't want to have to pause the video every time I need to do something else. Um, but yeah, so it, it, I wouldn't recommend running it. It's very buggy, but uh, in, in the right circumstances can kind of work sometimes, uh, which I consider a win. This was the last project I did of 2019. Uh, it's this ASCII maze generator. So basically you have to CLI tool uh, that can generate mazes in your terminal using only kind of text characters. Um, yeah, I, I generate the mazes with my own algorithm, which probably was a bad idea because it, it runs very slow. Uh, but yeah, it was really fun to make. It's kind of, I didn't follow like any tutorials at all whatsoever. So it was completely like freestyle coding, uh, which was fun, even though it ended up being like a slow utility. Uh, but yeah, it works, it works perfectly. Thank you.